Welcome, everybody. It is Weekend Wind Down with Nancy. Um, I'm Nancy Ganzelkofer, business coach. I partner with my clients to help them grow their business and get more sales and kind of get over the fear to go for what they really want in work and life. So I want to welcome everybody here today. Hi, John. Hi, PJ. Hey, Jenny. Um, if you're watching from your phone and you want to come into the broadcast, just let me know. Today, I wanted to really talk about you know what's working for you to grow your business. Uh, hi, Edmund, and and what's not working. So, um, oh, good, getting your wine. Oh, let me. Uh, hi, Pat. Uh, let me show you what I'm drinking today, guys. So. Actually, what I poured into my glass was a William Hill Chardonnay that had a little leftover in a bottle. So that's what's in my glass right now. But I have my backup, my backup, because, you know, if I pour a little bit during the broadcast, and that is just a standard Kendall Jackson Vinter's Reserve. Nothing too fancy today. Hi, Gloria. I'm so glad, glad you guys could make it today. I really wanted to talk about, hi, Lucy. Hi, Ashley. Guys, please share the broadcast um, if you can on your Facebook page so we all extend our reach. And if anybody wants to come on live and chat and talk about what's working for growing your business and what doesn't seem to be working. And let's talk about ways that you can grow your business, get more sales, and kind of like get over the fear of what you haven't done. One of the things that's really interesting to me is I always notice that when I'm working with my uh, coaching clients that often they know, they know exactly what they need to be doing to grow their business and it is just something holding them back. So if you bear with me for one second, I have my computer in front of me as I always do for these broadcasts and I'm going to share my broadcast on my, hi Sean, I'm going to share my broadcast on my business page and in my private group, Actionable Entrepreneur. So if you are an entrepreneur and you like taking action every day to grow your business, please join my group, Actionable Entrepreneurs. Um, you can even just do um, actionableentrepreneurs.com and it will take you to my Facebook group, which is cool. So bear with me for one second while I share because normally my son is watching and sharing hi jen and sharing for me but i don't see him here and since he doesn't live at home anymore i can't always tell um where he is which is a bit of a control issue for me <laughs> so give me one second i'm going to share on my business page nancy ganzikoff for business coach i'm just going to hit share not write any kind of description so Share this broadcast if you want to um, help me extend my reach and help more people. You know, hi, Darcy. Darcy, you don't have your glass of wine? I just have to share to one more place, my private group, Actionable Entrepreneurs. Give me one more second. And I'd love to see who wants to come on live. Hey, Darcy, if you are on your phone, I would love you to come on live and talk about your first Facebook Live that you did as a, as a joint show today. And I know you had some technical issues, but I'm so proud of you for doing that. Hi, Shamika. Let me just share in a group. See, this is why I like when my son does it. I don't have to multitask so much. Hold on one second. There it is. Okay, I think I'm done sharing. So who wants to come on and chat with me today? Hi, Kim. How are you? You get to say, you know, who you are, what you do. We'll chat a little bit about your history and then talk about growing your business and what you're actually doing. Um, um, okay, Darcy, when you're ready, you can hit to come into the broadcast. Would anyone else like to come in the broadcast today and talk about business? Talk about what you're doing to grow your business. Uh, what's working? What's not working? And, um, Talk about options for yourself. Okay, Darcy's going to come on in. Let me get her in. It says it's adding, so everybody cross your fingers and toes. There you are. Hey. Hi. So <laughs> Sorry, I just had you? to walk outside. How are you feeling after your first uh, joint <laughs> live broadcast that had a couple of technical glitches, which we all have in the beginning? A few technical difficulties, but it was okay and... Um, you know, of course, like this afternoon, I was thinking, oh, God, I sounded like a total moron, and this no. happened, and that happened. And then I rewatched it, I was like, it's not bad. It, <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't at bad. all. I was so impressed. You kept your composure. You know, obviously, I know you. I knew you were a little nervous going live yeah. the first time, which we all are. I was 
terribly nervous when I went live. <laughs> and I always tell the story like one person was watching. Um, so you actually had more than one person on your first time I too. I know. I can't believe it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to credit you for that though. So thank you. But yes, it was fun. And I'm looking forward to doing it again. And I do have my next guest already lined up um, for next week. Yeah, I'm super excited because she's um, just a little teaser. She is very involved with first dibs. So Ooh. I know I, I can't wait to see what she comes up with, but I like being surprised. I don't want to find out. I don't want to know what they're going to talk about. Um, so I just was, I, I thought maybe you could talk about first dibs. She's like, Oh, great. So I think that's what she's I don't know what she's going to say in relation to it, but super excited about it. Tell everybody um, what time your show is and what you're talking about and who you are and what you do. Give yourself a little I, plug here. Okay, that's correct. I am Darcy Heather. I am a residential interior designer in New York City, dealing with, working with, I should say, um, very successful, busy entrepreneurs in their own businesses, um, mostly bachelors and empty nesters. That seems to be our, our sweet spot. And we just take all the pains away from doing full scale design. So um, most of our projects are gut renovations, although we do um, full furnishing as well. If it's, we're doing one right now where it's a brand new build. So there wasn't a whole lot of um, uh, renovation portion, I should say, but it was uh, all furniture. Um, and my new Facebook live show, I, I said earlier, I feel like I need theme music. I need to have like an intro. <laughs> You know, I think Joe did that once and people were like, the music is distracting. Turn it off. <laughs> so I know. It's, it's, like, it's like a catch or something. I know. So anyways, it's going to be um, every Friday. It's Friday favorites with Darcy and friends. And I just, you know, want to invite the not only interior design industry, but other outside. I'm, you know, interested in all sorts of things, travel and healthcare, not healthcare as in doctors, but more of like wellness. There Self you go. Care. Wellness, yeah, wellness. Um, wellness care, um, fashion. Love um, yeah. So I just want to bring in all, all realms. I do have somebody, he's not scheduled. We don't know what date it is, but he, um, he is the window. Um, what's his title? He's in charge of all the window creations at Louis Vuitton, and oh. he's over in London. Um, so, and he's just a super creative soul, and I think we're going to do something about his, his favorite places in London, but why? Not so much of like, here's my favorite restaurant, but he's very much into the visual arts, and so where he kind of goes for inspiration, I think that's where we're going to go Love for it. him. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So there's just all different aspects of so, what so I want to bring. So tell everyone if there's anything in your business that's really working to grow your business or anything that's hasn't really worked for you. Because I want to definitely make this show a little bit about, you know, what's working for people and whether there's still questions outstanding. I know we work together, but still, like, what's really not worked for you? And then if oh. you have one thing that you feel like is starting to work for you. One thing that I definitely think is starting to work is really getting crystal clear and you've been a huge Im influence on this it's just really getting crystal clear is who that who that person is who that target who you're targeting and being um really okay standing in your space and you know i mean i can say you know i'm a, I'm a high-end residential interior designer as a lot of other people are but i really work with bachelors and empty nesters um it's, you know, it's, I don't know if it's by design, which happened first, but that now, so therefore my intention has been to really go after those types of clients because those are, that's who I enjoy working with the most. I think that's who enjoys and really understands the benefit of what we do. Um, what I bring to the table, um, because again, it's just, there's so many legs to what we do in terms of what we're just True. to bring a, a to, to bring in um um to br to pull it all together in terms yeah. of what hasn't worked it's it's chasing the shiny objects <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was one of the first things i said to you stop chasing shiny stop chasing objects. Shiny objects yeah so it's um that's another one it's just like okay and i did listen to something the other day that does definitely tie into what you were teaching which is um you can have a big long list of all these shiny objects, if you will, but just pick one yeah. and then kill it. And then when you're done killing it on that one, then look at your list again. And maybe by the time you finish that one, 
maybe the other thing that you thought was on there, maybe it doesn't matter as much anymore because you've, you've changed, or you've grown or involved. So I think the stop chasing the shiny yeah, objects. Elizabeth was, is like, oh, I'm bad at chasing shiny objects. Hi, Vivian. <laughs> hi, Eileen. Uh, yeah. Sharing is caring, guys. So share this broadcast if you feel your audience, your friends list would be um, benefit from it. But you know what, Dawson, yeah. you're absolutely right. And the only reason why I can teach what I teach is because I've lived it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh my God, if you could see the, the amount of books that I have and the amount <laughs> of files I saved on my computer when I first started really marketing myself. Yeah. In, uh, I was like, okay, I got to get really good at Instagram. I got to get really good at Facebook. I got to get really good at Pinterest and LinkedIn and Snapchat and this and that. And then, oh, wait, I have to be on podcasts and I have to do webinars. And all of a sudden I was like, okay, wait, stop. And let me get really comfortable and good at yeah. one thing, you know? And yeah. that's where I said, just, just pend all the shiny objects. And I love what you said. And it's so true. If you, <laughs> my son, Nancy is a certified shiny object chaser. Uh, oh, it's so true though. <laughs> it's so true because it, when he lived in the house at, at certain times, he'd leave, like, stop because reformed thank you Caden um because every day I'd come down the stairs from my office and have a new idea yeah and I'm then what happens you send your staff off they never get to finish what you first told them to do and now you're thinking something else is better and watching other people and trying to duplicate what they do is really a problem mm -hmm. and I love yeah. the fact that you're just doing your own thing you love beautiful prod uh you know products and fashion and travel and restaurants and you know what I said to you was then talk about that stuff and who's supposed right. to be authentically attracted to you will start being attracted to you because you're being authentic That's, it's it's so true it's so true so and I think the other I mean th this was I learned this luckily not um, a, a several years ago is knowing when to say no and, and walking away from somebody that you think, you know, it's like, oh, I don't have anything in my pipeline. It's like, yeah, but if you put this person in your pipeline and then the next, the, the one that you want there is, comes along and now you have this person who's wasting your time and space and energies and, um, you know, so it, it's, it's, you know, we say that no. Me. Yeah. It's, that it's hard sometimes energy, you're, mm -hmm. right. It's yeah. tough. I, I mean, to me, yeah. if I don't take on my ideal client, it's so draining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, that's a, that's another, that's another one, but yes. So it's, it's good. I'm excited by the Facebook live. Me too. Anybody, I mean, no, I'll, you know, I'll toot your horn, Nancy. You really, really converted me. Oh, I think you. it was three months ago and I was like, I don't even want to be, I don't want anybody to even find me. <laughs> oh my God. And now look at here. here I am yeah. like going, oh, I'm glad please you come said watch me do lives every Friday. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> and I, I never reveal my clients, you know, secrets, but the fact that you said that, yeah. I mean, when you first came to me, you were like, no, no, I'm like private. And I just said, you know what, what I tell all my clients, um, you are your business, especially as a solopreneur. Right. You are your business and they, right. they're hiring you. They're hiring your personality, the way you deliver information, your process. So you got to let that show and you got to let that shine and you've got to right. be in the places where they'll be looking for you. So now that you hi, have Marina. this, hi Marina, you have this new show, hopefully you're going to be attracting <laughs> your ideal yeah. clients. So, right. All right. You got to go get your daughter. I need to, yeah, I need to jump in. My phone's about ready to die. So, okay, go. <laughs> but I was like, I All don't right, have so time to say hi. 12 o'clock noon USA Eastern standard time on your personal Facebook yes. page, Darcy Heather. Uh, you're doing yes, your Darcy Darcy's Heather. favorites. Well, yes. not just your favorites. You always have a guest too that brings on favorites. D Darcy, friends, fr Darcy, uh, yes. With, uh, friends, Darcy and friends. <laughs> Darcy and friends. Okay, Friday, good. All right. Friday favorites of Darcy and friends. Yep. Five. All right. Friday's I'm down to ten percent. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. I'll knock bye. you out. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, guys. I Darcy gives you know such great insight, and I love the fact that she she's not ashamed to say the journey she's made because that's genuine, right? We've all gone through times where we've been misguided, we've taken wrong turns, we've tried something, it has failed. Um, and continuing to learn all the time is really key. So who wants to come on with me next? It can be anyone who's watching from their phone. You can press the little green and um, 
green and white camera button at the bottom of your screen. Turn it horizontal first and you can ask to come into the broadcast and chat with me about growing your business. Um, that's a good idea, Caden. You know what? And that's an, an, a nice trick. Um, thanks, Edmund. When you want to be notified when somebody goes live, you have to turn on notifications. So if you want to get notified when I go live, turn on your notifications. Uh, anyone who you really enjoy watching their show, it's definitely key to uh, do that so that you get notified right away. Um, and again, if you're available, great. So I can actually see who's watching from their phone. So who wants to come on and talk about their business, what's working for them, what's not working for them? Julie, Kala, Shamika, Jen, you're on your phone. So all you have to do is press the button. I'm flipping back and forth so I can see comments versus um, who's watching. So uh, come on and tell us what's working for you in your business or what you're still struggling with because I will weigh in on that. Um, for those of you who are in my private group, Actionable Entrepreneurs, you'll know that I had a hell of a night last night because I go live every day for just a couple of minutes because it's really funny. My group is called Actionable Entrepreneurs, and during the day, it really is like a ghost town because, um, oh, Carla, you're sick. <laughs> Come on, Marina, watch from your phone. I want to bring you on. You're always so wonderful. You're watching. You're here. Um, hi, Jane. Do you want to come on, Jane? Are you on from your phone? Let me check. Um, so last night, right when I was getting, right, well, I guess around six or seven o'clock, my son, who's a freshman in college, 18 years old, uh, texted me like, gee, mom, I'm not feeling so well. Actually, I think he called me. And I'm like, oh, you know, the standard, you know, ginger ale, saltines, and then uh, within hours, he was headed for the hospital. So um, eight hours away from him uh, by you know car, and I thought, oh no. So thankfully, he has wonderful friends up at college who drove him to the hospital, and he's fine. But he had to be tested for the flu. And of course, you know who do you want when you're you're sick? You want your mom. So I stayed on the phone for many hours. I'm not sure how much. Uh, so I was up until. I don't know, 2, 2.30, something like that on the phone, maybe a little earlier than that. So, okay, Marina, I'm holding you to that. Have to run Happy Friday. Um, and I can't read your entire message, Marina, for some reason. But definitely, I'm here every Friday at 4.30 for Weekend Wind Down with Nancy where I want to talk about growing your business, how you create healthy habits in your life that help you stay focused, um, and who wants to come on next and chat with me? If you're watching from your phone, all you have to do is hit the green and white button, uh, and you will be in. You will be asking to come into the broadcast, and we can talk about your business. So, Carla, Julie, Shamika, um, don't disappear on me because I won't. I won't ask you to come in unless you want to come in. Jen, how about you? So anyway, my son ended up being fine. <laughs> I would love to come to live, but my body's relaxing in bed. <laughs> All right, Shamika, thank you. Here we go. Uh, so my son is fine, and he's feeling good, which he had like some kind of 24-hour stomach flu. And uh, not the flu, stomach virus. So thank, uh, thank goodness he is okay. Hi, Josie. What's the question? The question is, how, what's working for you in growing your business and what's not working for you in growing your business? And let's chat about that and figure out if there's a way we can get you. Um, I'll phone in in just a minute, Elizabeth. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so if you're calling in from your phone, it just sent a message. I didn't see it. You want to... Um, you want to... Turn your phone horizontal. Well, first you make you, you want that button to be um, able to be pressed. And sometimes if you're not in the right um, angle, horizontal versus vertical. So I'm horizontal. So if you turn horizontal, you can ask to be in the broadcast. But let me see, Shamika, let me try to invite you in and see if that works. Sometimes Facebook gets a little glitchy, and that's part of what... Um, Chauncey had a problem with today. 
So anyway, so I ended up with three hours of sleep last night. This is what I talked about in my Facebook Live. And I could have woken up and gone, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And complained and complained and complained. And instead what I did is I looked at my calendar. I took off the non-essentials. And I kind of became my own best friend. Like I said, okay, what would I tell a friend to do? What do you have? Like, as I felt, oh no, I have so much to do today. I planned on doing so much today. And instead I decided to look at my calendar, take off the non-essentials and reschedule what I could and just keep on what I had to do. And going live in my private group is one of my commitments. It says that guest declined the live. Okay, Shamika, I thought you wanted to come in. That's why I saw it coming through. Um, you've seen somebody with a really not okay. All right. Good trying. We uh, will try again. It could be the Wi-Fi zone. Julie, I'm in California. So I messed up the time zone. Okay, Julie, I get it. Yeah. I always try to say 430 Eastern standard time. Um, Elizabeth was probably not yet on her phone. Kaden, you've been watching someone with a really successful group launch recently. You would love to weigh in on that. Okay, great. Ask to come in and we'll chat a little bit about that group launch. I think together we're like the power, uh, the power business growers here. So I love when you come on so we can really tell them, you know, what's been working for us. Okay. Oh, I think Shamika was trying to come on again, too. Shamika, I will try one more time after Caden comes on. Hey! Um, so Louder. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, so I've been watching somebody. Um, this is somebody I actually coach with who has just done the most successful group launch I've ever seen. And... He has some tips that I'd really love to share. Please do. If you're interested. Yeah. So here's how he starts leveraging his uh, personal Facebook. He opens up his privacy um, completely open. Um, he, for every person who friend requests him, he actually, instead of writing them a message saying, hi, how are you? I'm so-and-so. Um, I'd love to help. This is what I do. He sends them a 60 second voice drop over I've, messenger. I've gotten them and I've never sent them. So he does that. And all he does is, is bridges the gap, says, this is my name. This is what I'm doing. Um, and, and please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Um, so he always sends it using a voice drop because it's something more personal than just a message. So tell and everyone what a voice drop is. So when you're messaging someone, you actually have from your phone. I don't know if we have it on our computers, do we? No, it's just on your phone. And um, it's limited to 60 seconds. So uh, if you do it from your phone, you can just send them a message, a voice message that is limited to about 60 seconds long. So is there, do you know what the icon looks like when, so you open up Facebook, you're talking from your personal page, you, you open up In messenger and then do you know what I know? I mean, I love that idea too. Um, you know what the icon looks like to press to, to record it. Not off the top of my head. And we're no. on our phones, so we can't look, but okay. I, I have gotten them. And honestly, by mistake, I've sometimes almost sent them. Like, I've hit the wrong button. Um, so, yeah, Julie's saying she likes dropping a quick video as well. It's awesome as well. Okay, so. So, so this, is, this is one of the first ways he starts to leverage his personal Facebook page and uh, starts to build his brand. So, right off the bat, he'll send that 60-second that voice drop from his phone just saying, I'm here to help if you need anything. That opens the door to, if they do need help with something, he can then offer help uh, or he can offer resources in the way of like affiliate products that he has access mm. to. So let's say someone says, you know, I'm really struggling to sell this product. We might say, have you ever thought about using ClickFunnels? Um, so you can send it like that, but you offer resources, help, etc. Now, he recently launched a group, and he did this incredibly successfully, and I'll tell you 
one of his things that he did. If he's watching, his name is Catlin Betridge, and I also coach with him. I'm a, I'm a super fan. So <laughs> he leverages his personal Facebook by first he creates the group. Um, he puts a pinned post in the group saying, okay, let me backtrack. He, um, he'll make a status on his, he made a status on his personal Facebook saying, I have the answer to this. If you're interested in getting this, this great resource, comment yes. He got like 200 yeses because whatever he was offering was super valuable. And in as an answer to each of the people, he says, the answer and the resource I'm giving you is in the pinned post in the new group I created. So you have to do Ooh. it to get it. So, okay, can I just translate that into my world or the, or the people who are listening? So, like, I have a cheat sheet on how to do a two-person Facebook Live, just like we're doing here. And I actually do believe that is uploaded into my files section in my group, Actionable Entrepreneurs. And I have on my personal page done that method of who would like to have a um, two person Facebook live cheat sheet say yes here. And I did, I got like 25 or 30, but what I did different was I just sent it to them in the private message. So what he did was say, it's in my private group in the file section or to the pin post. No, no. pin post. So it's easy to find. Okay. So it's in the pin post. So that then gets them to join the group so you can grow your group. That's pretty genius. Now, let me tell you the third thing he does, uh, what he did with this group launch. Can I take notes? He, um, yeah, no, I'll, I, I, I've been meaning to tell you this, but I just figured I'd tell you it now. So just for those who are watching, Caden is my rock star technical support um, person for my company, and he's my son. So um, he doesn't live with me anymore, so I don't get this uh, information like daily when he comes out of bed. <laughs> So, so now, now we have to talk live and, and tell the world with us, which is great because this is what we do. We love to share the information. So anyway, just for those. Uh, by the way, hello, everyone who's watching now. Sharing is caring. So please share the broadcast. If you have entrepreneurs on your list that you think this information would be helpful. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Okay, Kate. And so one tip, uh, the voice message that he sends when people friend him on his personal page. Tip number two Ask on your personal page if anyone would like something that would be of help to them, but host it in a private group. Or can I also add for some people who don't have private groups, host it on your business page so that they go, they go and follow you on your business page. They go search for you and they, then they end up liking and following your business page because we're all getting, you know, wanting more people over there as well. Okay. Yes and no, because I'll tell you the third thing. Okay. When people go to join your group, you can, um, you can ask questions before you allow them in. I do that. On um, one of the questions, you can say, would you be interested in getting tips, tricks, and information from me by voluntarily providing your email address? Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> Okay, great so idea. So if people do that, there's this new product um, out there. It's called Group Funnels. It will automatically take whatever people put their email address in that question when they go to join your group, and it will add them to your email list. Wait, okay, hold on, back up. It's a new, is it, do you have to pay for it? I think so. Uh, it's well. called group funnels. So, okay. So you ask them when they're joining your group, if they would like to provide their email address so that you can give them a steady supply of tips and tricks for whatever you do, growing your business, designing your home, uh, health coaching, whatever you're doing. And then what does group funnels actually do? It, it takes the information they've input into your group, like their email address, and it takes their information and puts it onto your email list. But isn't that like um, Zapier or If This Then That? Like, can't you set up, those are two other programs, guys, there's two other programs, Zapier and If This Then That is another uh, application where you can 
uh, set up um, a link to do, if this happens, then also do this. Um, isn't that the same? I don't believe Zapier and if this, then that allow Facebook to be the, like the trigger. So this, this, this actually allows Facebook to be the initiator of that, like Julie said, of that email funnel. It's like an email funnel. I'll do more research on that. But that is the third step to his, like, wildly successful group launch. And how many people are in his group? I'd like you want. I think he opened it three days ago, and there's 550 people. I have, like, 550 people, and I opened it, like, a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I should start implementing some of these things. Um, I, the, you know what? You know what problem I have, and I don't think we've ever resolved this. Um, John, I see you're in the galley waiting to come in. We'll bring you in next. Um, <laughs> who are you all talking about that does this? I love you, Elizabeth. Um, we're talking about steps to uh, growing. Hi, Richie. Uh, to growing your, if you have a private Facebook group. And, oh, I got two people in the galley now, uh, Caden. So growing your Facebook group, there are ways when you add a friend to your personal friends list, it can make it really personal if you send them a voice message through Messenger. And what was number two? Number two is offering a lead magnet on your personal Facebook page and having the lead magnet answer be actually a pinned post in your private Facebook group. So people have to join the Facebook group to get your lead magnet. Or you can private, again, for people who don't have uh, Facebook groups, you can ask them for their email address in order to send them your lead magnet. I do, I've done that before and that really works well. Um, and then number three was um, what was number three? Oh, it was to use a, a platform or a service like group funnels to have one of the questions uh, that people have to answer in order to join your group be um, their email address so that your the lead magnet that you offered on your personal page not only grows your Facebook group, but grows your email list. Yes. And again, it depends on what volume you're doing. I think in the beginning, you can do this a little manually. So depending on who's watching and what kind of business you have, these are tips that you can apply in a coaching business. What Caden is talking about is hugely applicable. We have private Facebook groups. Mine is actionable entrepreneurs. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur growing your business, absolutely asked to be in there. I'm in there live every day, giving tips and tricks to continue to move forward and grow your business. Um, if you are in the interior design industry, which I know a lot of my friends and followers are, you can use the, every time somebody friends you, send them a voice message that gets them to know who you are, hear your voice, you know, hey, thanks for becoming my friend. And you tell them what you do and how you do it. It is no more than 60 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a great way for them to hear your voice and the way you speak. I actually love that. Number one to me for all into, for all business owners is great. And I, and I think I'd like to start implementing that. The problem I have is I'm almost at 5,000 friends. So they're not new friends, but I could kind of backtrack and start, you know, sending messages to people who I want to connect with to start making personal connections. Because really connections are currency. I've said that a million times and that's really key. Julie saying questions are key no matter what business. Absolutely. I ask questions to come into my group. People don't always answer them. I definitely look at their profile to see if I think they are uh, who they say they are because we all know there are spammers out there. Um, those are great tips, Kate, and I definitely want to look more into implementing that for my own business and for those coaches watching. Um, th these are great, great, great ideas give credit to your coach again? Oh, my, the coach I'm working with right now, his name is Catlin Betridge. He's um, an online marketer. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, th I just thought it was really brilliant. And I thought it was something that 
like you could implement and I wanted the world to know. Absolutely. It really is. It really is br brilliant. You know, the best part for me, just to be honest with everything you learn and my other two uh, virtual assistants, um, you being the one who learns the most, the fastest when it comes to the technology side, which is really big for me at 53 years old, my, my brain can't always absorb it as fast. <laughs> um, but I love when we learn and we teach. I mean, that's basically when you bring on a coach or somebody who's a little ahead of you in business, even as a, as a friend or a mentor or collaborate, collaborator or an accountability partner, you are now have access to everything that they have learned and everything they continue to learn. So it's really, really cool. So thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to pop you off at, wait, Tell everyone what you do in case anybody needs you, because you don't just work for me. You have your own business. <laughs> um, so I've just started. Uh, so I, I launched my website, gansman.com, um, and I build ClickFunnels landing pages. I do webinar pages, um, sales pages. You know, if you have a product that you're launching and you want help, getting a really nice uh, setup going to get that launch going great. I can help you with that. If you're hosting an online event like a webinar, I can help you with a page that will uh, grab people for that. If you have a lead magnet, uh, something that you want people to opt in, provide their email address, and then get on your email list, uh, that's kind of my specialty. I can definitely do that. Um, and you can reach me at... Uh, through Facebook. I'll, I'll be in the comments. Okay. And I have to tell you, because I just got to brag for a moment. When Caden started working for me, um, it changed the face of my business. He is really doing amazing things with my landing pages. And my, my landing pages for webinars convert between 65 and 85%. Meaning anyone who comes to the page opts in to watch my webinars at a 65 to 85% rate. And I think one of them, for one of your other clients, it was even like 86, I think you hit 86 or 87%. Like 87 or 87%, which is just insane. It's insane, guys. Well, so if you're going to do a teaching webinar and looking to, oh, thanks, Julie. Um, if you're looking to Thank convert you. the people who you're reaching out to, to, to opt in and listen to your webinars, you totally want to have a great landing page where people put in their name and email address to attend your event. Um, Caden's your guy. So, okay. Thanks, darling. You're welcome. I'll talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. I, I just have to say I'm so lucky to have him. <laughs> Every day, and I try to tell them often. You know, sometimes we take the people who work for us for granted, and I really try to let him know how um, him and my other virtual assistants are really key to the successful business that I have upped and, and run here and continue to run. They are just amazing people, all my employees. So, okay, so Elizabeth and John both had requested to come in. I know I waited a while so that it's not showing anymore. So who wants to come on? Who's going to hit the button first? John, are you still there? Or Elizabeth, are you still there and want to come on? And hit that button. Otherwise, I can hit it and invite you in. And let's talk about what's working to grow your business and maybe what hasn't worked so well, because that's really what we want to talk about today. Tips and tricks. John, you want to come on? I know John... Elizabeth's here too. Okay, John has a show starting at 5.30. So Elizabeth, if you can hang on, I'm going to try to bring John in. Wait, let's see. Oh, John, if you can hit the button. Wait, I know what I'm doing. Hold on. Let's bring John in because he has a show starting, live show also starting at 5.30. So I don't want to get him too close to his start time. And then Elizabeth, I'll bring you on right after give John a chance to talk about what's working to grow his business and maybe what hasn't worked so well. So John, I'm adding you now. So last time, I think it was John's first broadcast and I was trying to get him on my broadcast and it wasn't working. And I thought, oh, the poor guy, it's not working. He's going to be panicking. And I don't know, John, it's not working again. It says adding, but you're not quite getting on. I, I I love this idea of these voice messages. I really think I want to start implementing that to my friends list to just let everybody know. Okay, let me try again, John. 
approve. Can't bring John Tedesco on camera. There's already a guest in this broadcast. Really? There really isn't. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. John, ask to come in one more time because I had invited you in and you requested it at the same time. So sometimes I guess it, it crossed and didn't bring you on. So John recently started a uh, Friday show as well, right after mine. So if you really want to drink for two hours, <laughs> you, can, you can go on my show and then go on his show. John, request in one more time. I don't want to touch anything because once you, here we go. Okay, let's try that. Let's try bringing you on. Okay, it says adding. Hopefully it'll work for us. There you go. <laughs> hey, Nancy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic. Great show. Thank you. Yeah, I really want to make these shows every week much more focused on what's working to grow your business, what are you still struggling with, and let's help more people get out there. So tell me, tell everyone who you are and what you do, and then let's talk a little bit about business before your 5.30 show okay. starts. Yeah, we'll keep it short. Uh, I got a few things that pre-check. Just a few. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So in um, any case, so my name is John Tedisco. I'm the architectural and designer representative for uh, Tile Bar, uh, a national tile company. And so I call on architects and designers uh, for projects that need ceramic tile, marble, uh, mosaics, things like that. Um, so as far as uh, what works for me, what's interesting is being, even though I'm employed by Tile Bar, I'm, I'm really – Almost in essence, so I take it as a, as as if I'm like self-employed. Like I am responsible to f to to find the leads, cultivate the leads, and that's how I'm. That's why I'm here on Facebook. Is um built even before I joined Tile Bar, I was building my brand on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook. Facebook was more personal for me, and um, I, I've I've now made it business. You know, I used to do political post and you know, oh now i learned quickly not to do that <laughs> yeah i mean it was years ago when i had my own business you know but now uh so for the last three years i've completely uh devoid of any of that uh because you're guaranteed <laughs> to piss off 50 percent of the people yeah so, i lost a couple um, of friends that day but you know what whatever <laughs> exactly ex exactly speaking of political posts it's kind of an inside joke but yeah tell Caden that um yeah, his greatest asset uh, is his mental stability and his uh, and he's and he's like being like being really smart. So I, I get it. He's like, Mom, do you think people got it? I'm like, I don't yeah, think so. I got it. I got it. Oh, so um, he's gonna be very happy about that. Yeah, I joined the uh, Caden parade today. Good. So, um, but yeah, so uh, the biggest, the, the best advice I could give because when I decided to change careers from Oceanside Glass Tile to Tile Bar. Um, I really believe that a part of the interest, and I had six firms gave, made me offers in eight days, literally. And part of that Good was... Good for you. Yeah, part of that was, some of them said, oh, I know you know a lot of architects and designers, and like I haven't spoken to these people in years. I'm like, well, how do they know that? And uh, they look at my Instagram, they see the interaction. Uh, so part of my success of building my brand, I mean, I was always my brand, but I want to like, put the brand out there, um, was to do a lot of social media. So that's why that's why I've, I've um, I'm doing this Facebook Live program. I, I love chatting with people. It's all about relationships, and I think the service that you offered is um, is you know is is really good. And um, thank you. I really recommend people to to consider hiring you um, because even if it's just you know like just for one session to see like just that one little thing and then and then they see if it works for them i really think it's a good thing you know thank you for that plug and i don't bring people on just to plug me just so everybody knows but right. um it, what's interesting to me is um and, and i'm i'm proud of this like sometimes i can move somebody pretty quickly so what i do is a reduced price initial call 50 minutes five zero and sometimes in 20 minutes right. i can quickly identify what could um Either they're spending too much or they're um, not pricing themselves right or they're, they, uh, they know exactly what to do to market themselves and it's just fear standing in their way and I'm able to shift that for them. So right. I, I love doing that for people. What I love about you is that you said you're employed by Tile Bar, but I really feel like you handle it more like you're the owner. You're, it's almost like a franchise for you, right? And yeah, it, it, it's it very is. impressive because – you are building that location's presence and the, the, the company name 
nationwide by doing the social media show that you're doing. And I want you to let everybody know because it starts in 15 minutes. And I think that's so important to your industry. And you're just really, you know, nose to the grind. It's all about marketing. You can't just service your clients all the time and not right. work on building the business. If you don't build your business, you're going to have these big roller coaster um, rides in your sales. And that's right. hard to no, do, I, it, but you're doing it. True. So um, it's my nature to, to do things like this, but um, a lot of the projects I'm working on are like a hotel that's going to be, they need tile in two years from now. So I, I, f I feel that I'm also bringing value to my company with the, the exposure on, on social media. I did the same Huge. for Oceanside Glass, you know, uh, more than anyone else in the company. I don't, they didn't ask me to do it. I didn't ask permission to do it. I just do it. Right. And um, it's who I am. It's what I do. And it's, it's exciting. I mean, I love what I do. If I, I was working as a, you know, in a different industry, I probably wouldn't be ex as excited about it. So right. um, I know you have people lined up. I'm going to lose this jacket and yes. get my drink. And, uh... <laughs> All right. I am going out to dinner. My sister's visiting from uh, at Alpharetta, oh, Georgia, and enjoy. her husband. So maybe so next going week you, pop, you take a look at the show. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a quick pop in after my broadcast, but then I will, I'll run. So I'll, All I'll right. watch if anyone has nothing, If anyone else needs an excuse to have more drink. Uh, <laughs> I know. Two hours of drinking, back to two back. Two hours John of drinking. <laughs> uh, so uh, 530. Uh, if you're not friends with me already, I guess that could be a challenge because we've got to accept them really quick, I guess. But, uh, yes. Give it a try. You can do it. And, you can do it. Uh, I can do it. Um, I want to be able – I could see um, – let me ask you a question. I could see comments at the same time uh, as – because last time I couldn't see it because my phone was vertical. I think it was limited. Correct. So Because last time it was showing me just people that were watching, didn't show the comments. So I'm swipe, hoping now that I'm horizontal. Swipe. So, like, right now I'm watching comments. But if I take my finger and go from uh, right to left, I see everyone who's watching – and I can even, once you're off, I can see right. who's watching from their phone, so I know who I can bring in next if All they right. choose to. I'm, so I'm you have afraid, to swipe. I'm a little afraid to mess up the technology there, but yeah. Gently right. swipe left. It's like I, a dating I, site. Swipe left. Thank you. I see, <laughs> uh, I see some people I know joining your site because they see that I'm live. They probably think it's my show. So it's really confusing. So if you're watching me and you see this is Nancy's show, join me at 530 at uh, Happy Hour with John. Right. And make sure uh, you share our show. Sharing is caring, as uh, right. Joe Hecker would say. Thanks, John. I'll see you okay. on your broadcast in a couple of minutes. Good luck. Take care. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. I got. I love that. Cause so John, John was watching my broadcasts, and you know, listen, that's what a lot of people do. They see that if you're doing something successfully, they want to do it too in a similar fashion. They name it something different. I love that. I have no problem with that. That means that they feel you're doing something that's working for you, and they want to do it for their own business. And that's what it's all about, guys. Do do it in your own way. Do it successfully. Do a twist on it. It's all good. So let me see, Elizabeth, are you still here? Let me try to get you into the camera because I know you were trying to come in before. There you oh. are. Hey. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Did you did you listen to my Facebook live earlier uh, If in the private group, Actionable Entrepreneurs? I had a rough night with my poor son. He had a rough you night. You had a rough night. You had a rough night. I did hear it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, listen, this is what moms do, right? It's not even an, it's yes. not even a thought when your kid needs you, you just are available period. But End of story. Eight hours away. Yeah. Well, he's going to be father me. when I move. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> my house is for sale. They put the sign on the lawn today and my next door neighbor. I love her. She's my best friend. She literally was texting me how she's crying all day. Oh. It's so hard, but you know what? It's, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. I have a very big house that I am empty nest at this point. For the most part, my son comes back yeah. from college. Um, but my ex-husband, who we're very amicable, lives in town. So it's not like they have nowhere to go. And they've all told me, it's okay, mom, it's time for you to go. Because technology is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Yes, it is. Right? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and, and you know what? I was saying to my boyfriend last night, like, okay, if he was sick and I was in Alpharetta, how long until I can get to him compared to getting in the car and driving? And it really wasn't that much longer. Well, there you Flying go. versus driving. So, um, yeah. But being that far away from your baby when he's sick, wasn't that hard? I don't care how old they are. I would have you know? stayed up all night, three nights, days and nights if he needed me to stay on that phone with him because that's just what you do when your kid is hurting, you're hurting, right? Right. So Always. 
Anyway, welcome and tell everyone what you do. And we want to talk about business building, faux pas, things that haven't worked, things that are working. So tell us okay. what you got going on. I'm trying to remember to look at, not look at you, I'm looking at you. I'm yeah, so for, <laughs> for new viewers, I'll fill you in on what that's all about. So somebody had asked me, like, why does it look like you're always looking at us directly in the eye? Um, one of my clients asked me that. Actually, Darcy, who, who was on at the beginning of this broadcast, she's like, why does it look like you're always looking right at me when you're coaching me or when you're doing a live? It's literally because I have trained my peripheral vision. I look right at that little hole in the camera, like I'm looking at right now. I'm not looking at Elizabeth on her side of the screen. If I did, I'd be looking like this, right? So I yeah, have trained yeah. my peripheral vision that I can tell when Elizabeth's moving, if she kind of raises her hand, like her body language. But I look right at the camera. So I look at the camera when I'm coaching people. I look at the camera when I'm doing webinars. I look at cameras when at the camera when I'm doing these lives. So uh, Elizabeth's on my virtual, uh, my board of the IDS Interior Design Society virtual chapter. And that was a trick I gave them before the first meeting. So, so how's it going? It's going great. It's going great. It's been a busy week, but good, good. So tell us what you um, do to grow your business and what you do and all that. Facebook Live has been growing my business. It's now, crazy. you actually got, tell us about the wins of um, what has happened with, since you've been gone, when, since you've gone live. Well, okay, so the town I live in, I, I grew up here pretty much, and it's, I mean, it's not tiny, but it's, you know, it's kind of small. So, you know, if I go into a store, I'm probably going to see one or two people on it, right? But... Everywhere I go, not everywhere I go, but lots of places I go, people say, hey, I saw you. Hey, I saw you. Or, um, you know, oh, I told my friend to watch you, and you talked about something that, you know, they were asking about the other day or something like that. Um, and I actually booked a client today who emailed me and said that Yay! she had been watching me on Facebook. Who, a lurker. You know, I didn't know her before. I, she's in, you know, about 15 minutes away, another town over and um so yeah so everybody send elizabeth some love and thumbs up for that one you know what i i always talk about lurkers i have no problem with lurkers you know what if you want to watch and you don't feel like commenting and you don't feel like sharing or liking that's okay um because you you're just learning from us and you know what that's totally why we're here so that's okay yeah. but it turned into business for you it does and and many people, they have to get to know you first. And so this is a way they can get to know you without getting to know you, you know, mm -hmm. or, you know, like having to call you or try and make small talk with you. They can get the, the feel for your personality and decide if they think they can work with you or not, or if you would click or whatever. So definitely and she said that she said that in the email that she sent me or the voicemail. She left me a voicemail first and she said, um, you know, what she wanted. And then she said, I've been watching you on Facebook and I, I think we work really well together. And I thought, wow. I mean, that was the first time I had had somebody say that, you know, so I thought this is true. You know? And how long have you been doing your Facebook lives? Cause I want people to hear about the consistency um, and how long it takes for, and it's different for everybody, but tell everybody. Right. I, I, maybe six or eight weeks, maybe no longer than two months, no longer than two months. Isn't that amazing? So two months of doing free Facebook lives, it's free guys. You're not paying for a Google ad. You're not paying for house. You're not paying for Yelp. You're not paying for anything that these advertisers want you to pay for right now, or, or you're not even paying for, um, Richie, that's my girlfriend live. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks Richie. Um, I think it's it, when I hit the eight week mark of doing this show, is when I started noticing that more people were sharing. I had, I think I was up to about 1500 views and yeah, I was getting emails that I love your Facebook live. I've been watching and I did say, you know, Oh my God, you're a lurker, but that's so okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> thanks Julie. Julie's telling Richie, he's a lucky guy. <laughs> um, he is lucky. <laughs> uh, so what hasn't worked for you in the past for growing your business? I mean, I'm going to sound redundant here, but Facebook, I mean, what is it? They say Facebook is for people over 40. That's kind of my, you know, ideal client. I, I 
tend to work for working couples between 45 and 55, you know, and that's where they are. I mean, my people are, are on Facebook and it's always worked for me. I mean, that's where I get probably 90% of my business, that and referral. Well, probably 80% off Facebook and the other 20% referrals. Um, yeah. I remember so, thinking I was the coolest mom. I was on Facebook and then suddenly <laughs> I was mom, it's not cool to be on Facebook anymore. Now we're all on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm like, well, I am staying on Facebook. <laughs> I'm staying. It's working. It's working. it's working. And the live show that you do, what do you talk about? Whatever. I, I don't, I, I, I probably need to do this. I tried to start off when I started it. Um, I was going to do a topic every single day, you know, Monday through Friday. I was going to do I don't know, magazine Monday, I write for a local magazine and I was, you know, going to speak about that and something for every day. And then I found that I was, I was trying to schedule it and that just didn't work for my line of work. I mean, I'm in uh, construction and design. And so a lot of times I have to be on job site or I have to leave and go somewhere really fast. And so it's, it's hard for me to schedule a certain time. So, um, I quit trying to put so many parameters on it for me because for it made you. it harder. And then I felt like I was rushed and I was trying to come up with something and it was, I didn't feel like that, um, you know, came across very well. So now I try and do it in the afternoons. It seems like there are more people around, at least in my area or that, that follow me. And Tell everyone afternoons. where you are. Cause I don't think we mentioned it yet in this broadcast. Oh, I'm in uh, right outside of Nashville in Tennessee. And uh, now I'm in New York. Don't I sound like it? Uh, exactly. You just sound like just like a New Yorker. You're like my next You're neighbor. You're going to be sounding like me before long. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little. A little. Bit. little bit. Does your sister? Does your sister have an accent? My sister has a very clean, much cleaner way of speaking than I do because she had moved to Alpharetta over 20 years ago. Oh, um, okay. But whenever she's back to New York and she hangs around with me too much, it gets a little thicker. And her and her husband is from West Hempstead here on Long Island, and he definitely has more of a, a New York uh, accent. Really? But again, I feel like it's, it's partly who you start to hang around with. You go back yeah. to your roots, and your accent gets much thicker. And you go back to when you're away from your roots, and you get a little bit of cleaner speak, sort of speak. <laughs> That's pretty wild. So... Well, um, I'm so happy for you that Facebook live is working for you. And you know what? I, yeah. I definitely want to pinpoint one of the things you said. I had considered maybe I should go live every single day because it works really well. And I extend my reach. And I get to talk to people and they get familiar with me. But, mm -hmm. uh, when I go live on my personal page, I do want to look a little better, right? I go live every day on my personal page. No makeup, you know, whatever. I'm wearing, you know, half pajamas. I, I tend to go live in there or eat more easily because it's private. And mm -hmm. I gave up on I'm going to go live every day because like you, it didn't work for me. It was causing me anxiety. And I'd rather do right. it well once a week and enjoy it. And that's yeah. me than try to force it every day and try to, like you said, come up with a topic where when yeah. I'm in the private group, I give a quick five to eight minute something that's going on uh, in my day that then can translate to something people can relate to in their lives. So it makes me, you know, relatable business tips and things like that. So I'm glad that you didn't. It is more effective to go live the same time every day because people then know what time and you start to get a following. But wow. you can't you can't force something that's not authentic to you. Right, right. And that's what I you know, that's what I try. That's what I figured out. And so I, I try to keep it within an hour's time, you know, and I'm usually done for the day between four and five. And that's when I try and go on. So I don't know, it seems to be working right now. And, and before when I first started out, I'm, I'm really bad about, I want to do something. I want to do it all the way. And I want to do it, you know, you know, just go full blazing. And I, I try to do too much. And that can yes. be worse than just like you said, just doing what's comfortable and what comes naturally. And, um, you know, and then it works and then you come across Then I'm myself. I'm not my yeah. crazy running around stress self, you know? So no, and it's really important to go, you know, listen, you do want to, when you're growing your business, 
you're going to work hard. You're going to put a lot of focus on it. But if you never walk away from it and never get rejuvenated, and, and I have trouble with that because I'm a workaholic, and I have to walk away from it. And it's amazing the ideas and the clarity that comes to you when you do walk away. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's the best thing for you. I've had clients say to me, you know, what, you didn't give me homework this week. What should I do this week? And I, and sometimes I just say, you know what, I want you to do nothing for two weeks besides what you've already oh. started to do. Like, but, but I mean, nothing new. Yeah. Right. Because oh, I would have a hard time with that. I wouldn't be a good, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a good client for you. You know, I'm well, some, sometimes, and again, it's rare, but when I see, it's rare that I give that advice to somebody, but when I see them get, getting very frenetic about and feeling desperate to grow their business to the next level, what can I do next? What should I do oh. next? What should I do next? I'm like, you know what? You need to take some um, flex yeah. time for yourself and some downtime and, and stop that anxiety cycle because that anxiety cycle sometimes is so counterproductive. It I, is. It's so it I'll give them anxiety and others and, and you know, you attract that. Exactly. It really just, it, it, it loses from every pore in your body and you will deflect clients as opposed to attract clients. So, um, so thank you so much for coming on Elizabeth, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much Thanks for watching. Me. Please, caring, uh, sharing is caring, as Joe Hecker would say on his design wall show, design talk. And um, thank you for being here. I'm here every Friday, and I want to talk about business building ideas, let you introduce yourself. Elizabeth, tell everyone how to find you, and then we'll say goodbye. And I, I think John's show started, so I might hop on there for five okay. minutes before I run out to dinner. Superiorconstructionanddesign.com and on Facebook. Excellent. And, and I want to mention if I didn't before, Elizabeth and I are uh, president, I'm president, she's vice president of the Interior Design Society virtual chapter. So if you yeah. are in the interior design world, and you haven't joined the Facebook page for the virtual chapter, look us up IDS virtual chapter. And again, I'm Nancy Gansicoff for business coach helping entrepreneurs, uh, creative entrepreneurs, mostly grow their business to the next level. Uh, look me up. And if you're not in my private Facebook group, Actionable Entrepreneurs, join me there. So thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, y'all have a good weekend. Okay? okay, you too. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye guys. Have a great weekend.